Alright, hello ladies and gents and welcome back. Uh, we've chosen the mouse sports game. Obviously, uh, we're still in the first half, but it's almost over, mainly because of time constraints. But here we go. Uh, my name is Kainite, and alongside me is Hoss. And Hoss, have you connected? Yep, I'm in all good. And we're going to see Ledger get the bomb plant down. As he's in a 1v3 situation here as we join. There's Norp on long for Balkan Bears. Ledger's defending this rather well. He's got two kills already, but then... Uh, when we'll put an end to that, take it to 3 9. It seems like Mouse Sports are dominating this game so far. But whether Balkan Bears can get a comeback on Dust 2, we will find out as the game progresses. Yeah, I wonder whether they've been using the Tech 9s. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You know what they are? They are. Leggy has got a Tech 9, Tabson has a Tech 9, and I don't. And Chris, Chris J, good old Chris J. Obviously, anyone who's <laughs> currently watching who watched the first Mouse Sports game will know exactly what Mouse Sports are about. As far as this update is concerned, here we go. Nucky with a good old auto sniper. Leggy knows exactly where Nipsy, Nip, Nipsy, 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 yeah, Nipsy. Right, I'll just call him Nippy uh, for now. But anyways, here we go. Tabs in with the wall bank or the door bank, more like onto Xiem's leg here, getting on the score sheet as well. And it's far too easy for the Germans. But then again, they are German, and uh, we all know how good Germans are at Counter Strike. Ten three. So it seems like, once again, Mouse Sports are doing their tactic of uh, spamming through double doors with the auto snipe. And of course, Chris J with his favourite gun of the day, it seems, of the Tech 9. There we go, there's the AWP straight through. And it does now seem like you can AWP through double doors and it'll be an instant kill. Mm. Which Valve also probably needs to fix <laughs> after this recent patch. But Leggy is going to be entering this B-side, getting the opening frag with a headshot onto Kiem's. They're going to be rotating through CT, and Chris J gets one with the Tech 9, but not good enough to get a second there. Maybe some. He'll probably put it down to teething problems, not fully used to the gun yet. But Leggy is going to end that with the AK shot onto Irwin, taking it to 11 3, going into the last round of the half. I mean, I don't know how many people in the chat can relate, but you know what the Tech 9 reminds me of? You remember in, in like primary or secondary school where they'd always like put pictures up on the wall and they'd, they'd have those staple guns? Yes. Yeah, that's what the Tech 9 yes. reminds me of. It's like a terrorist running around on Dust 2 with a staple gun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyways, here we go. It's going to be Nippy to get the first frag on to Nuki. Tabson getting on the score sheet as well. Tabson with two. Auto director, my friend. What are you doing? Here we go. Flasker's going to try and hold the A. Bombsite does so successfully. Down goes the new addition to this mouse sports side in the f in the uh, X ends player of Alu. Nippy gets his second of the round. And is this half going to finish 11-4 in favour of the Germans? Only time will tell. Nippy is going to be the one to watch the B-bomb site. And we've got both Irwin and Flask pushing long, which is interesting. I think Nippy will be fuming with this because Flask and Irwin have literally handed over control of the A-bomb site to the terrorists. Chris J is going to plant for long. Chris J has an AWP. Chris J is going to go and sit in pit. Or maybe not, but I assume that Chris J, well let's just say Chris J has the option of going to sit in pit, and Nippy thinks they planted in B, and now Balkan Bears are disconnecting. So, what on earth is going on? Because that was very, very poor, and I sincerely hope they weren't serious about that round. <laughs> Here we go, Nippy gets his third, and uh, before going down to Chris J, and look who it is, it's a primary school teacher with the staple gun, <laughs> gets one, he's looking for the second. And, wow, I thought he was going to get it there. Left Flask on 6 HP. But honestly, I don't know about you, but I'm struggling to cast these mouse sport games today. Seriously, because of all this Tech 9 use. Yeah, the first, first mouse sports game, we were finding it hard to speak. And then the second, the Titan game, it was all plain sailing. Now we're back on mouse sports, and it's like, oh, there's a Tech 9. Better lose my English skills. <laughs> uh, second half here. Mouse sports going with a 12-3 lead onto the CT side. Match has been paused as a Balkan Bears player has disconnected. Mm. Disconnected at the end of the last round, I think it was. But yeah, are you uh, hyped for ESL 1? Yeah, of course. I mean, I've, I've actually had a few people ask me whether I'm going, and, you know, it's been disappointing to tell them I don't have anything planned, obviously. <laughs> as far as my August is concerned, I've I think I've got Epic Land next 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 month. I think Epic Land's next. Uh, month. No, Epic no, Land no, is like is this month, two weeks. It? Yeah, it goes to show how, how much I know, doesn't it? 
Yeah. Two weeks Friday. <laughs> it's like I, I, like I'll only find out when Epic Land is until Peter or Gaz or Gumpster message yeah. me on on Skype the night before and say. Uh, you're coming tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're coming tomorrow, right? You're going to be doing the casting. But anyways, um, but yeah, my August, um, I'm obviously, I'll, I'll be at G3. Um, then multiplays as... at the end of August. And multiplayer? You mean I-series? I series? Yeah, I series. Yeah, I still don't know if I'm going They obviously always leave it until two uh. days before the event to decide who they want casting their events. Um, I'm sure you'll be happy to share a room, though, right? Or share a bed. Oh, don't get me started, Hoss. Don't get me started. <laughs> Obviously, people people who probably aren't too familiar with the UK scene won't understand what it's about. But I basically, I was one of the casters at the last I series. Which uh, who who the hell is that spinning around like a maniac with that Karen bit? That you know I mean? is. Look at him, guys. <laughs> is it like GMs. a spin bot or something? Woo! Yeah. Need some like. Oh, Tech Nine Sandstorm. Now. Let's tech, go. Tech Nine Sandstorm. <laughs> yeah, but basically, I was casting the last I series alongside Biggs, who some of you may have heard of, and we were promised a shared room. And we went in, and there was only one bed. And we both looked at each other, like, hmm, one bed. <laughs> but we were like, surely by shared room, they didn't mean share a bed as well. Um, <laughs> but fortunately, we got it sorted out in the end. Well, we had a. Uh... We had like an ESL UK admins road trip to ESL one last weekend, and we got there. We booked our hotels. We got there. It was like two rooms. We had two singles and a double bed between five people. Mm. Luckily, I got a single. It got very cozy in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Frankfurt stays in Frankfurt. Uh -huh. Yeah, ESL one in Cologne because it's at Gamescom is going to be awesome. It's always a big gaming event for the industry and fans alike. Mm. I think Riot will probably be there with some League of Legends stuff. ESL and Valve now with CSGO, quarter of a million prize pool. It's going to be an awesome event. I'm looking at going. Dear <laughs> <sighs> me, look at this. Like, I, I know it seems really, really stupid. I couldn't <laughs> find him moving around this funny, but obviously, like, I don't know how to explain it, but on in CS, when you've been playing it for so long, you get attached to the retarded movements of like certain <laughs> certain models. Like, I don't know if anyone remembers Leet World uh, from back in the day, Player and, and Cortez. Uh, I'll send you the YouTube link later, but it was like, uh, like a little... It's basically like the East Enders or Coronation Street of CSS. It was, it was quite funny, but it was really funny. And Player was the SAS model, because the SAS model just looks like so retarded with the mask <laughs> on. And uh, everyone used to have a voice and speak, except Player, who used to just type retarded stuff in chat. But anyways, here we go. 12-3. It's the first uh, round of the second half. And Hoss, why don't you take us away? Beep. So we're going to see the T's moving towards this B site. Uh, Mouseworld's pushing aggressively through tunnels. Ooh. Flask, you could see him! <laughs> Alu got there first with the headshot. And he's gonna be falling back, I believe. Yep, he's fallen back. There's now three CTs on this B site. Two in mid. Well, one in mid now after Tabson gets dropped. It's Chris J alone. And of course, he doesn't get his favorite gun on this side of the map. But Chris J, how is he still there? That was shocking there. He's still. Well, he's dropped now to Irwin, but. I don't know how they didn't drop Chris J. He was sat in CT. And as the terrorists ran in, I'm pretty sure they saw him. But just couldn't kill him. And now it's 13 3. And they didn't get. The Balkan Bears didn't get a bomb plants. And if they don't get one this time, then it's going to be match point. It's going to be the same situation we had on Mirage with the Titan game. Yeah. Well, Mars Sports got 16. What was it? 16 4 against a different team. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, Chris J's managed to tag two with the scout. And the thing is, Ma oh, hello, Ooh. Tech Nines are out. Balkan Bears are saying, right, the Tech Nines are meant to be banned. But if you guys want to use them against us, then we'll use them against you. Chris J's managed to tag a few of the terrorists, but a tag is not enough. You need the frag, leaving Mouseports two men down. Irwin is waiting outside along with the staple gun. He will get the kill. And you know what? I said he will get the kill before the kill even happened. Honestly, I just, just knew. Just the Tech 9. Exactly. I knew he had the Tech 9 in hand. He was going to get the kill. But you know what? Chris J's going big. Oh! oh! Triple from wow. Chris J. Kems comes from behind with the staple gun and gets a kill. And now it's all up to Legia to try and save the round 
for Mouse Sports after some brilliant scouting from Chris J. But hello, they've all lined up in a line. Leggy spotted them, and someone needs to get the bomb down. It's Famas versus Scout. Kozja misses the shot. He hits it, but can't get the kill. And now Leggy, well, he's got a very tough job on his hands, but we know that he's capable of doing it. But Kozja decides, right, not only are we going to abuse the, the uh, Tech 9, but we'll abuse the fact that you can shoot jumping in midair with the scout as well. 13-4. Yeah, that was a great eco round from them. They took down all five members, got the bomb plant as well. They're going to be rolling in the money. Uh, they're only standing for Galil's, a FAMAS, and a picked up scout that they had from the round before. No tags coming in through mid doors just yet. They're going to be making their way too long. There's there are, the Bears are going to open up with the first kill onto, with Kiems onto Tabson. That's 5v4. Kiem's doing a lot of jumping around. Obviously, he didn't have enough in the pause time. Chris J's got his scout in hand. He went big last round with it, and it's the only gun that the CTs have bought this round. Okay, they don't have the Tech 9 on the CT side, so they're going to have to settle for the CZs as the T's push through with their rifles and Nookie gets spotted, headshot goes on to him and now it's Chris J Scout, he's on the site he's gonna see a few, he'll get the shot, I think they're onto Flask they're firing through, Smoke's gonna delay Chris J for now, Legia with the Deagle in mid gets tagged up to it, but about half health here, just over Chris J gets another tag with the Scout Kozja is pushing up There's Alu to the tight left, he'll spot him, get the headshot. And now it's Chris J on site, he's falling back towards short. Kozja with the free fire and gets dropped by Chris J on short, who's trying to get another whilst jumping with the scout. It is 100% accurate. Trying to fire through boxes, but nothing is going through. Jump in to try and get a good angle, but not find anything just yet. 4 versus 2. Kiems makes it 4 versus 1. Chris J left only with the scout. He's on short, and Flask will drop him. And it seems like the Balkan Bears are making a slight comeback here. Yeah, why not? Obviously, there's still a heck of a load of rounds behind. Eight, to be exact. But Thedas 2, many argue it's a T-sided map. They've got Mouse Sports right where they want them now. They've got Mouse Sports Eco in, and their financial situation isn't good whatsoever. They're not like on a on a voluntary Eco. They have to Eco because of how low their economy is. But here we go. Kem's going big with the first blood headshot onto Chris J, leaving the Balkan Bears one man up here on Dedos 2. Again, we apologise uh, that there's no radar. Blame Volvo for that, not us. Here we go. Irwin. For some reason I keep thinking of Dennis Irwin, the old Manchester United centre-back when I see his name. Five versus two. Tabzen with Deagle, Nucky with CZ. And let's see what the Germans can pull out the bag here. Tabzen's going to be the man to uh, protect the A-bomb site. Nucky's going to be the man listening in on the B-bomb site. They've definitely heard them now. And we see Tabzen quickly rotating. Nucky gets one frag. But that CZ-75, because of the lack of bullets it has, it leaves Nucky in a terrible state, in a terrible situation. He found himself with a terrorist running towards him and having to reload. But 13-6, the Balkan Bears, they're not going to be too disappointed so far. And you know what, Hoss? Mouse sports my eco again. Yep, Chris J is going to be picking up his scout. He did it in the eco before. Of course, they did reduce the price of it by $300. So it's pretty cheap now, to be fair. It's the price of, well, it's the average price of SMGs. Alu's sitting in lower, but the 5.7 won't be enough. As Koja will get the one-shot headshot with the AK. Tabson in long, down 74. HP will get dropped. The Deagle wasn't enough down there. And it's Chris J left, and then two Deagles on his fellow teammates. Chris J spots Yeah, I think that was. He gets one tag onto him, but won't find the final shot. So it's four versus three. Bomb has gone onto this ace site. Erwin in mid gets one onto Nookie, but Chris J will put an end to his life. And it's Chris J on 73 health. Legia on 100. Legia should find a gun. There we go. He picks up an AK. And now this defense, both CTs. Coming through short, Flask is sat long in pit, Kiem's chucking a flashbang out to try and delay them, Kiem's with the AWP shot onto a very blinded Legia, and they know where Chris J is, he's going to be saving this scout, or at least trying to, Flask is in chase, Chris J is safely into this B site however, jumping around, probably shouldn't challenge it, they'll let him get away with the scout, and you know what, it's looking like the Balkan Bears, Aren't gonna 
that they're not finished yet. They're going to be fighting this game out right to the end. That this round, honestly, is crucial. Mount yes. Sports win this round. They'll be on 14. And maybe, just maybe, if Balkan Bears don't manage to get too many frags, might force them on a, on, on a, on, on a, on a force buy, meaning Galil's and AKs will come out. And the new recruit for Mount Sports introduces himself nicely. Legia with the three-man spray down. He's running towards the fourth, but it's going to be the Finn to get the kill. And Hoss, I was saying that this round was going to be crucial for the Balkan Bears. They win it. They force Mount Sports into eco and again, and they probably find themselves... 13-10. They've lost it. Mouse Sports have the weapons. We see Galil's coming out, which is what I expected. If the Balkan Bears lose this one, Mouse Sports will be on match point, and I really can't see any any way back 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 into it for them. Yeah, the only member of the Balkan Bears that's on a comfortable buy is Nipex, and if he open if he opened things up with the frag down mid that he just missed slightly. I reckon this round would have been a lot easier, but right now, Mouse Sports are looking like they're taking this to match point. It's two members of Balkan Bears left. Flask and Nipex. Flask gets one. Nookie is pushing through long. Nipex missing shots onto Chris J. Nookie hanging around playing passive. In these long doors. He hears Flask. Flask! Ooh, Nookie will get one! He's not able to get the second, however. Nipex, he has to switch to his Glock. He only has an AWP left, he's getting pushed, and there we go. <laughs> Match point now, two mouse sports, and it's going to be a very, very small buy for the Balkan Bears. Yeah, they've bought up everything they can, they know it's over, they know that it's pretty much damage limitation at this point. Irwin's gone for the staple gun, so we'll call him Mr. Mr. Irwin, primary school teacher <laughs> here on DDoS 2. Who's looking to teach Mount Sports a lesson? Ah, you see what I did there? You see? More puns! <sighs> More puns! I love my. Yeah, yeah you're very punny. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, oh, punny, funny. Ah! Oh, yeah. oh, Hoss, we're brilliant. We're brilliant. We're masters of puns. <laughs> masters of the English language. But, anyways, here we go. I, I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> Alu's at mid. He knows that there's someone hiding behind that box. And is he going to show himself? He will. But, oh no, Alu looked away. Alu's going to miss the shot. And maybe just a glimpse of hope for the Balkan Bears. That nade's going to do a lot of damage. Alu finally getting the kill he craved at mid. He's being flashed out and he's going to get pushed. And let's see who's going to win. Nipsey, lovely shot with the CZ75. And they're going to have a change of heart. They're running back towards double doors. Flasker was one of the terrorists who bought the AKs. And he's dropped Tabson. And now Mouse Sports need to make sure they don't become complacent. They need to keep their heads in the game and make sure that they win this round and win this game overall. Chris J caught with his pants down. Nookie gets his second before getting nailed in the head by Kostya. And Legia is left as the last man standing for the for, for, for the Germans. I was so close to saying for the virgins there, honestly. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be funny. I was I, It was on the tip of my tongue and the Balkan Bears win it. Erwin with the kill and 15-8. Uh, yeah, Balkan Bears certainly putting up yet another fight here. Mouse Sports going for this double up setup, of course. Going back to that UK scene, we've seen Svetiger do it. And is that is Nipex from the UK, it seems. He does have a UK flag behind his bear picture. And I'm not sure, but because my UK scene knowledge isn't that good. But Svetiger have played with this double orb setup on CT and T. Dust too, and Legia's going to get spotted. He's going to walk into three members of the Balkan Bears here and not get tagged up at all. But there we go, there's the headshot coming out from the AK. Kiems is very low. Goats gets dropped, and there we go. Kiems gets dropped by his teammate because he was so low. One HP, I think it was. The Balkan Bears lose this. One of their members is going to be on low HP. Erwin comes into this site. Chris J's toying around doors. Alu gets dropped. It's three versus three. The flash goes out from Erwin. Galil and Tech 9, so basically the same gun, but twice as good there. And Window will drop Erwin as Nookie peeks his head around. It's all down to Nipex. He'll get dropped from the M4 of Tabs end. And there we go. Mouse Sports go and join Titan into the round of 16, I believe it is. As four teams end up qualifying for ESL 1 in Gamescom Cologne. Yeah. And the round of 16, round of 8 will be tomorrow, I believe.